guys, it's Shannon and today I thought we would do a journal haul. So these are going to be all blank journals that I share with you today and I'm really excited to share these with you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. The first three that I want to show you are these right here. These are by Color It. Now they are a coloring book company and they also have ventured out into journals they did send these journals to me so I could take a look at them. So I want to thank them for doing that. That was really nice. And um, these journals are really, really nice, you guys. So I opened one, which we'll look at in just a minute, but I left the other two sealed so you could kind of see how they come. So to my knowledge, there's three, maybe four different patterns, but I have three right here. This is how they come. So they are 5.8 by 8.2 inches. There are 80 pages inside and they have a dot grid. They come with this nice blasted, blastic, that's wonderful. <laughs> black elastic, otherwise known as blastic. Ta-da, blastic. <laughs> the black elastic string to help keep the journal closed, which I think is amazing. And the really cool thing about these is that you can color them and personalize them to yourself. So that's just super awesome. So here's the first one. Let me see if it has, it does not have a name. Um, I'm going to link these down below where you can get them. I think you can get them on Amazon or maybe on Color It's website. So I'll go ahead and link that for you. But the first one is right here. This is the next one. And this one has like a lot of mandala kind of looking pieces on it, which I think is super duper cute. And then I wanted to show you this one that I opened. It has all these beautiful flowers on it. I think this would be so much fun to color you guys. Um, I didn't want to color it before the video because I wanted to show you what they look like just as they come because some people might want to keep them just like this. I mean, it's a beautiful book. It has a great texture and I just think it's really, really nice. So some people might want to keep it, but I'm going to go in there and I'm going to color mine. But here is your elastic. And if we open it up, it says color it to free your creativity. You have a this journal belongs to page. And again, you can color it. Haha, <laughs> get it? Color it. <laughs> Okay, I'll stop being cheesy. And then inside you have your dot grid pages. Now these pages are perforated inside so you can remove them if you want or not. Um, so it has just a, a really large kind of dot grid, dot grid pattern, which um, I really like. And then it also has a bookmark, let's find it, like halfway through the journal, you have a bookmark so you can move that to whatever page you're working on. Now, I think these journals would be great just for keeping like a diary or a traditional journal, or these would also be fantastic for bullet journaling. Um, if you're not familiar with bullet journaling, I suggest looking it up on YouTube. It's awesome. But yeah, these would just be great, great journals for bullet journaling as well. And the paper in here is a really nice, um, nice heavyweight paper. Um, I really like the feel of it. It's just just a good journal. So those are the new coloring journals by Color It. Totally cool. I am so thankful that they sent these to me because I'm addicted to journals and I love these. Okay, now we're gonna move on. Next, I have this one. So I bought this journal from Amazon. It's like neon orange. It has colored um, edges to it, kind of in a rainbow pattern. So the reason why I bought this is because I was looking for a Halloween specific journal. And by the way, it does not come with these stickers on it. It's just a plain neon orange journal. Oh, you know what? I don't have it in my pile, but I bought a neon pink one too. I don't know where it is. Um, but anyway, I wanted this year to do a Halloween journal. Um, normally, you know, my month of October is just mixed in with the rest of the journals that I'm working on, or, you know, it's just in my normal journal but I really wanted to start the month of October in one that kind of reminded me a little more of Halloween. So I found neon orange. I loved that it had the black elastic on it because it's just more Halloween-ish. And then I added these little puffy stickers on here. They're like little shaker stickers and they're like little mad scientist kind of potion bottles and stuff, which I thought was neat. 
So this one was really pretty inexpensive. It has this kind of yellow or creamish colored paper with big lines. Um, the paper is not a good quality. I'll go ahead and link this still because overall I like the journal and the colors are amazing. But I went ahead and glued two pieces of paper together just using a little glue stick. That way the pages would be a little bit thicker and the ink wouldn't bleed as much. So that is going to be my Halloween journal for this year. Now let's see. Um, so that was from Amazon. Let's go ahead and look at the other Amazon journals I have. The next two are from the brand Tokidoki. Now, if you watch PS Toy Reviews, you know we are huge fans of Tokidoki. They make amazing figures, but they also have journals and backpacks and shirts and purses and, oh my goodness, they have so many cute things. This is, you know, they did not provide these. I purchased these on Amazon. I don't even think Tokidoki knows that I love their journals. <laughs> but in case somebody's watching, I love your journals, send a bunch. Uh, Anyway, so I purchased this one right here. These are like the Cactus Pets and the Cactus Friends. So we've opened the Cactus Pets um, blind boxes on PS Toy Reviews and I love them. I love these little kitties right here. So this journal was only $9.95. I think that's a really good price for the quality of this journal. It's really nice, heavy duty. Um, the inside has all these cute little Tokidoki characters drawn in there. You have a This Book Belongs To page with some of the cactus people and pets. And then your pages start. So they have a very faint light green line. And then the corner has the same little cactus things. I think, is it the same? Yeah, it's the same on every page. So there are a ton of pages in this journal. Um, the paper just feels really nice. I think it'll be great to write on. The journal just feels like really nice and like good quality in your hands. So there's that one. And then the other one I got from Amazon is another Tokidoki. Now this one is a combination with the video game Overwatch. I do not play Overwatch. I have not played it I should say maybe I will at some point but we have opened the figures and I think they're really cool so I just love that this journal has combined the you know traditional Tokidoki characters but also the video game characters as well so here's what the back looks like and it has a purple elastic I like when journals have the elastics because then my journals get really fat and chunky and the elastic helps keep it shut so by the way, if your journal doesn't have elastic, just buy elastic headbands like from the dollar store or from Target or Walmart and you can put that around and it'll it'll help. Okay, so here is the inside cover of this one. It's really awesome. And these pages have the Overwatch characters right along the bottom. The pages are completely blank, no lines or anything except for, you know, those characters. So some people don't like um, when there's something printed on every page. I kind of sometimes like that and sometimes don't. It just depends on what mood I'm in. But this journal was just so awesome. I had to get it. It is a really big journal. I mean, there are a lot of pages in there. So that one's going to be super awesome. Now let's move on to... Uh, not Target. Who? Michaels. Let's move on to Michaels. Here's the first one I got from Michaels. New York City Girl. Now I think this one is exclusive online. Um, it just has like a Tiffany blue mint kind of color cover inside and then it has different color pages. So the first section is like this tangerine color with lines. Then it goes into like a darker orange and then a red and then like a mint green and then a darker green. So you can kind of see the edges there have different colors. I really liked this one just because I absolutely have fallen in love with New York City. Um, I always wanted to go there in my life, never thought I would, but thanks to YouTube and the awesomeness that it is, 
um, with PS Toy Reviews. I think we have gone to New York five times now and we're going again in February and I'm super excited about it. So I wanted to pick this up that way. Um, I have a New York journal. Speaking of which, here's another one. <laughs> so I just bought this at Michael's the other day. This one is actually a sketchbook size. Um, I mean a sketchbook so like the paper inside is much thicker so you could draw in you could probably do watercolor and whatnot the pages are completely blank here is the inside and I really liked this one here I'm just gonna pull this off we're just gonna pull that off so we can see the whole cover how about that all right this one says work hard stay humble I really really liked it um, I don't know what city this is it might say the cool thing about this company is I don't know how you would say it Denik um, they with every purchase of a journal they donate some money to art programs in schools which I think is really cool so anyway um, I don't know what city this is it might be New York but it could be really any kind of city but it reminded me of New York <laughs> I love the quote work hard stay humble um, that's kind of just a really good quote, really something for people to live by, at least in my opinion. <laughs> so, um, this one again, reminded me of New York. I'm going to use it to document one of our trips to the city that is YouTube related just because, um, I think that would be really cool. Okay. Only a couple left. These next two are from Michaels. These are just the, are they artist loves? I don't know. It just says journal. They're only $5 and you can get these in store or online. This one has unicorns and rainbows and it has some gold foil like the moon and the rainbow and some of the little um, hearts and leaves. It just has a plane inside. The paper is just lined. Um, the paper feels pretty nice, but you know, it's, it's just an inexpensive journal. It was just really cute. And most of my journals I end up using as actual journals or diaries. Some I use it as bullet journals and some I use just for notes, like for um, uh, when I'm working and stuff, I just keep a notebook and write all my different notes in it. So I'm not sure what this one's gonna be used for, but it had unicorns on it and it was awesome. So I had to get it. And this one is the same way. It just has all these cute little popsicles. I thought it would be really cute to use next summer. The inside has like a sprinkled looking, um, what are these pages called? Like the end pages and beginning pages? I don't know. Anyway, just a nice, cute, inexpensive journal. I love using these. And the last two things are from the Disney store. So, let me show you this one first. This is a Stitch notebook from Lilo and Stitch. Um, this one has all these little tabs that stick out of the top with little different characters. Let me open this up and show you. Each one of those tabs corresponds to a little um, like acetate divider. So if you don't like these in your journal, you could actually cut these out and use these in craft projects or to make your own like dashboards for planners and stuff, which would be awesome. But anyway, they're stitch. These pages are lined and they have stitch playing a little, is that a guitar or a ukulele? I don't know. Anyway, he's playing that. And then on this side, there's Lilo with it. Next section right here has Lilo and same print on the paper. This section has a stitch, super cute. The next one is Lilo and little scrum. And then we have stitch being super cute. Another one of Lilo. And then your back page looks like so. So there's that one. And then last but not least is this one. So this used to be available at the Disney store. And by the way, I think you could have got it at Hot Topic or Box Lunch too, but it, I believe it's sold out. I purchased this one on Etsy, I think it was, because I saw it in, um, I think I saw it in a video on YouTube and I'm like, oh, I have to have that book. But this is a really awesome one with Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. 
same kind of concept. So here are all the little dwarves. And then we have Dopey on this side. And is this Sleepy? I think that's Sleepy on that side. And the tabs at the top, each one of them is a different dwarf. So here we have Snow White with a pretty rainbow. And then we have, let's find the next section, a pink page with the dwarves and the cottage, a blue page with the dwarves, and lastly, Snow White with a rainbow and an apple and the cottage. And then there's the back of that one. So all of the journals that I am able to find links for, I will. I will find those links. I will put them down below, so check there. Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any like hidden treasure places where you like to buy journals, leave a comment and let me know because I'm always on the hunt for new cute journals. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you later. Bye guys.